Hi everyone, this is me again, your flight attendant Gracie, and welcome aboard to my channel. For today's video, I am in one of the most beautiful city in uh, Europe. I'm in Prague, Czech Republic. So if you guys are interested to see what I'm gonna be passing by while doing my errands, just keep on watching. But before that, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell button as well so you'll get notified on my next video. Just like this one. So here in Prague, there's a long queue going to Primark. Primark is a store or a shopping area in mostly Europe, like London, Ireland, to buy some nice and cheap clothes, is it? So yeah, it's a long queue because there's only a limited people who can go inside. The Neo Renaissance National Museum building is from 1891 and is an important feature of the upper part of Wenceslas Square. Since the time of its construction, it has not been significantly repaired. It was damaged in two military attacks in 1945 and 1968. in Wenceslas Square. The square is the commercial and administrative center of city as well as a site of important social and historical events. Behind me, uh, if you see that building over there where I've been there earlier, that is the National Museum which already dominated the Wenceslas Square. It was built in 1885 to 1891 and that statue of, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, guys, Josef Vaclav Mislebak, statue of the national patron of St. Uh, Wenceslas from 1912. So, this is the Wenceslas Square, guys. There you go. As you can see, it's a very beautiful city. It can be really quite busy, but because of the current situation, that's how it looks like nowadays. Tower, this monument entrance through which the coronation processions of Czech kings enter the old town is one of the most significant monuments of late Gothic Prague. Completed in 1475, the powder tower, which formerly served as gunpowder store, is still the starting point for the coronation or royal route to Prague Castle. Take you there. 
to Charles Bridge it really makes a big difference walking in the park walking in the nature without wearing your mask here in Prague or mostly in Europe you're allowed to remove your mask as long as you're not very close to people so yeah if you're by yourself it's okay you're only required to wear the mask if you are in a public transport in the mall or like public places where in a lot of people so if you're in a park like this it's okay that is the famous Charles bridge where in i'm going there right now so if you guys can see that's the castle over there so let's go so we are now entering the famous Charles Bridge. The Charles Bridge is the Prague's oldest bridge was built to replace the Judith Bridge that has been badly damaged by floods in 1342. The stone or Prague Bridge called Charles Bridge since 1870 was started in 1357 by Charles IV and was completed in 1402. This bridge is built of sandstone blocks flanked at each end of fortified towers between 1683 and 1928. 30 statues of saint were carved to decorate the bridge, the most famous of which is the statue of Saint John of Nepomuk. Saint John of Nepomuk was a priest who was entrusted hearing the Queen's confession. One time, the queen shared the big secret with John, and the king suspected his wife is hiding something from him, demanded that John reveal his queen's confession to him. John remained silent, and even tortures did not make him speak. Finally, the king decided to drown the disobedient priest in the river. Under the darkest of the night, soldiers threw John into the river from Charles Bridge, and he drowned. Soldiers killed all witnesses and it looked like the king got away with the murder until fishermen that were wrapping their nuts upstream caught the body of John and tried to pull it to the bank. While doing that, they saw the drawn man's face in water with halo of five star and recognized him immediately. The king's crime was uncovered and St. John the Nepomuk became a martyr. So why people touch the statue according So why people touch the statue? According to the general beliefs, your wish will come come through one year and one day as long as you keep it as a secret.
So if you all notice, among all the bridges here, this is the only one that has lots of statues and full of tourists. So that's how it's made. It is famous here, so it's a must try here in Prague. Thank you. How do you say thank you in Chinese? How do you say thank you? Oh gosh, I don't know. Sorry guys. So I got one. I got a strawberry for myself after walking for so long. Bye. Thank you. Guys, it's so good. Mm. I don't know how you call this in English, I think. It's tower cream or tower sweets, I don't know. I'm wondering what's inside this shop, but it's a cannabis shop in Prague. Cosmetics, food and wheat. Oh gosh. I am wondering if I can go and take some videos inside. Spot. Let me go check. Hair shampoo made of cannabis. Interesting. Oh my gosh, I wonder if I can make it in the airport with this.
old town next to the astronomical clock. So there's an astronomical clock out there. There. I'm waiting for exactly seven o'clock for the clock to perform. So obviously I'm so tired. Naragna, look at my red eyes. So I'm just here sitting and waiting for seven o'clock. The Prague Astronomical Clock or Prague Orlo is a medieval astronomical clock attached to the Old Town Hall in Prague. The clock was first installed in 1410, making it the third oldest astronomical clock in the world. The clock mechanism has three main components, the astronomical dial representing the position of the sun and the moon, and the sky and displaying various astronomical details statues of various Catholic saints, the walk of the apostles, notably a figure of a skeleton that represents death, striking the time, and a calendar dial with medallions representing the months according to local legend. The city will suffer if the clock is neglected and its good operation is placed in jeopardy. A ghost is mounted on the clock was supposed to nod its head in confirmation. According to the legend, the only hope was represented by a boy born on New Year's night. I wasn't able to finish my video in downtown yesterday because it was raining and I walked so much. I got so tired. So by the time I reached her in my room, I just showered and crashed. So anyways, today I managed to get rest and ready to go back to work, going back to Dubai. So. Uh, I just want to share uh, one of the things that I buy when I am here in Prague, Czech Republic is this. It's an Aries brand hosiery or stockings for those of mine or for those flight attendants out there, for those people who are using compression stockings or for the future flight attendants if you guys happen to be here in Prague, Czech Republic. This is a very good brand of stockings, Aries. I use the 70 denier. There's a 100 denier as well, but I couldn't wear too tight stockings. So 70 denier for me is the uh, right support that I need. This is made here and it's really cheap. I got two of this. It's 50 dirhams for two pairs already, which is double the price when you buy it somewhere else. So this is just a little tip for those who are wearing stockings at work. So if you happen to be here in Prague, Czech Republic, you can just buy this in a pharmacy or drugstore. So I just bought this in front of our hotel where we stay here. So yeah. So anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys like my walk around in the beautiful city of Prague, Czech Republic. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. Stay gorgeous and stay safe wherever you are. Bye.